Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ethorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Very well. I'll let him in now. Perhaps Choda Habat should turn his eyes to his own people if they truly suffer so. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am John Aluso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence. Someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians, whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. 
If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. That's too bad. Well, you know where we are if you change your mind. Citadel Station is at a crossroads right now, you know. And so are you. Don't take the wrong road. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman. Or a man. A child. But to lose so much. I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability. For a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this, and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragas facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off the station. Whether it's the Evan Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead.
Tonoranda Manakan, Ipoinchua, Tonos Imaragith, Wanarakorachi Drumka Sa Inchobin Sasha, Tosimana Rochetta, Tonos Imaragith, Wanarakorachi Drumka Sa Inchobin Sasha, Tosimana Rochetta. In Wamagro, May Rangana Noruta. Hey, what are you doing in my apartment? Looked like you were doing more than just looking. Figured what? You just break into my apartment and take everything I own? Are you crazy? Yeah, you will. Now get out of here before I get the TSF to throw you in jail. Nita manja yuma lorda wata no sanasika. Tovre kun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana muta. Kavadumba munsuru kupla liyawa. Bo bagaragawanda yaitua ulwanji yuma. Tonghi te mosi jochia yumba ditawa e bawa tuneruta. Tung lal du chung nao, du ka ne tung ka gur ka chino song ka ti cha no cha. Min su ne kung ni hong ka ka tu chi po po malia e bista e ta ka wata ra ka wa ka ra tung ka. Da hupa bo sa kurata go juju tu yoke, hiata yamba wa jiake yuki to tune. Da hupa bo sa kurata go juju to yoke, hiata yamba wa jiake yuki to tune. Watakra tungji mula rai mula kriti rite krakolo me bos. Ento mesh mi paju wat...
maybes and perhaps you may be able to help but there is always a price is there not <laughs> Hello there, and greetings from Isis and Onderon. I'm a diplomat from Queen Talia on Onderon. My stay was supposed to have been shorter, but the contract disputes over the restoration project had prolonged it. 
The Athorians negotiated the export of flora and fauna from Onderon, but with their disagreements with Zerka, the status of our arrangement is in the air. Sobojun sama petom, no sukama rontisi renti, manama kropa putani, dosokanki. B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. How may I help you? Of course. She has been expecting you. You will find her through the door and down the hall on the right. I hear Asgol's been paying mercenary... I knew you'd come eventually. I am confident that we will be able to reach a working agreement satisfactory to both you and I. But where are my manners? On behalf of Zerka Corporation, I would like to be the first to welcome you to Telos. I can understand why you might be on their side, but believe me, you wouldn't be doing Telos any favors assisting those amateurs. Oh sure, Habat's intentions are good enough but good intentions won't restore Telos. His expensive policy of relocating biological specimens from Onderon without any planning will doom Telos in the end. I don't think Habat even realizes that at their current pace, they will run out of funding before even half of the restoration zones are up and running. Zerka plans to use some of the planet's own resources to help fund the restoration. These extra funds will greatly improve the project in the long run. Habat, on the other hand, can't see beyond his own selfish concerns. We've discovered that the surface of Telos is covered with military facilities that were either destroyed or abandoned during the Sith attack. Salvaged raw materials from these sites can either be reprocessed and put back into service, or resold to help fund the project. 